Hello, welcome to Haley Carla Arts, a little inside glimpse um, on studio day here at the studio. Um, I'm going to start something new uh, for two reasons. One, I'm hoping that a little bit of a behind the scenes sort of thing once a week um, may inspire some of you and I will touch on uh, creative process things that are coming up, things that are happening behind the scenes um, in operating my own a creative business, making my art, and sticking with my own creative practice. Um, and then also, um, I'm, I'm doing it selfishly for me, uh, because it'll help keep me accountable if I have to talk it out in front of the camera <laughs> once a week. Um, Accountability is a tough thing for me uh, at times, mostly because I think um, I don't give myself enough credit for what I do. And so this little um, weekly check-in that I want to start doing is really about um, celebrating what has been done and with a little bit of honoring what's going on so that I don't get so hard on myself and thinking that I'm not doing enough. You might be like that too. Uh, it seems like no matter what I do, I always kind of feel like I'm not doing enough. But if I do you know, make conscious ways to check in with that, uh, it can be really helpful in my process and in just my general state of being. So, so today I mentioned was studio day and I actually have two days a week uh, that I call my studio days during the week. Um, right now it's Tuesday and Friday and I try to set those aside to come to my own practice, to work on paintings, to work on backgrounds, to finish up things to just really get um, playful in my creative practice. Maybe if I'm in a class, I might work on some of that then. Um, work in my journals, work on paintings, etc. That's that kind of thing. Um, and I gotta tell you, I'm really not very good about keeping those studio days as strictly studio days. Now, studio day can also have like, you know, long walks with my dog in it, that kind of thing. Or if I really wanna take a nap, I might go do that. Um, but the whole idea is that I'm, I shut down email, I check it in the morning, and then I shut it down. Um, I'm not on social media, you know, I'm really trying to just be in the studio and be free. And it's, it's hard for me to let go of the to-do lists on these days, particularly in times like right now, when there's a whole lot going on behind the scenes at Haley Carla Arts right now. So, um, yeah, there's just, there's just a lot going on. So... Today, I was dragging my feet and I was thinking about the 500 other things I should be doing, all the videos I ought to be editing, and PDFs, and class content preparation, and, and 21 Secrets 2015 is in plans, and Spectrum 2015 is in work, in the works, too, and so there's a lot of things happening. Relate is opening up again on October 3rd. I can't wait. But what I know about my creative process and needs is that it's super, super important, particularly in these times of high pressure, to um, to get to my creative practice and to not just do like just 10 minutes a day sort of thing. Um, that's better than nothing, don't get me wrong, but I really have to have a period of time, like an hour or two or three at the very least, to just kind of shed away the layers of pressure and to get into my own zone and forget a little bit about time and forget a little bit about um, the, pr the seemingly pressing matters that are out there and be in my own space, in my own present moment. And when we make the space to do that, you know, whatever it takes, whether it's a longer period of time or a shorter period of time, it's super important that we let ourselves get into that flow and that creative zone uh, where we're not, we're not, being controlled by our mind and our thoughts as much because that's when we dip into that sort of parasympathetic mode of reaction we're not in high stress mode and and then in that kind of river is where our body gets a break and our mind gets a break and we rest and we relax and it really fuels everything else that we do. And the funniest thing about it that I find is that even though I fight it, I still fight it, even though I know that once I get into it, I start a painting and I get lost in it a little bit, I'm going to feel 10 times better than before I started. I still fight it. But once I get into it, almost every time across the board, all those questions and things that are nagging at me that I know need to get done or that I'm trying to figure out, make decisions about, they all start to become clear without me focusing on them at all. So 
that's what I have to say today uh, for this first little check-in. It's a really beautiful gift of the creative process, and um, I learn it and am reminded of it again and again. But I have to come to the practice to be reminded of it. So, um, so once a week on Tuesdays, I'm going to do a short video like this, um, checking in, and I may use this this time to answer questions. I get a lot of email questions these days off and on and a lot of times there's themes like I'll get questions about the same thing in the same week from different people who don't even know each other. Um, so I may do things like that. I'll check in with my process. Um, we may just do like um, I'll let you in on some of the behind the scenes stuff with creating like online course stuff. Um, that's kind of fun stuff as well. And then also just to check in um, with my own creative practice for you in a more personal way. Uh, without writing a, a blog post, um, this feels easier, a little more personal and honest in some ways. Um, you know, as a nurse, when you go in and you meet with someone, you you start out by taking their vital signs, right? You do a little assessment to see where their their vital signs are at. And so that's like pulse and breath and uh, blood pressure and temperature and then comfort level or pain, you know. So that's kind of what we're going to do once a week. Um, I'm going to check in with you, you know. what? How am I in my heart space? How's that inspiration feeling? Um, how is, you know, how's the pressure in life? And in my, in this holistic creative life, I'm trying to create and live and move through with awareness. Um, you know, how's temperature? How's things in the, in the, in the space? Am I feeling hot or cold about things? And what, what is feeling really juicy and what's feeling, um, what's showing up with a little bit of resistance? So, Perhaps what I hope is that by me checking in with you on those things, you might be inspired a little bit yourself, and perhaps you can take the opportunity to check in with those things yourself. So for today, let's just end on that last one um, on the comfort level. What is feeling really juicy right now is is my birds still. <laughs> I mean, that's been sticking with me, but I got a new bird book just yesterday. It was a, a kind of a reward for getting some work done, and and so today I spent a lot of time painting and sketching and learning about birds uh, in the studio, and that felt really good. And where there's been a little bit of resistance, hmm. the resist. Well, I think really the biggest resistance was just taking the time to do this because I have so many things on my to-do list um, this month. So um, that was the resistance, and gratefully I've you know done a, a circle or two around this. So I. I made myself do it with the help and the nudge of my husband, thankfully. Um, so, yeah. So look for those places that are really juicy and look for those places where the resistance shows up. I say that to all the women I work with, too. Those are the most potent places to, um, to receive what it is that the creative process has to offer us at any given time. So I hope you're well. Happy creating.